let's talk about some of the things I absolutely cannot stand about the 2022 GR86s. First, we got all of the gaps for a sporty car that's reasonably priced. You would still expect better. Like, you can almost fit a full finger in all of the gaps. Right here, this was just a gap. So, I went out and spent $250 on what they call an arrow cover to close up that gap. And then, the door gap is actually decent. It's almost standard, but it's still pretty bad. Some of the little things, like the trim pieces not being the same height, that kind of stuff bugs me. The hood gap. So this side has a bigger gap than the driver's side. I can fit my pointer finger in there. And then on the passenger side, only half. And it's been like that since I bought the car. That kind of stuff is absolutely annoying. Then we also get to the fact that it's a 2023 or the 22 pluses. It's a $35,000 car when you buy it brand new. And it still doesn't come with hood struts. So I went out and spent 200 bucks on carbon fiber hood struts and pulled out the hood prop. I mean, almost every single car now comes with hood struts. And then when we come into here, it still has wired Apple CarPlay and Android Audio. It disconnects. I can not hit a bump, just drive, and every once in a while it disconnects, or when you hit a bump, it disconnects, and then you have to jiggle the wire to make it reconnect. And the last thing I can't stand the visors they're just too long if you're a tall person all i'm only 5'11 but they still get totally in the way it blocks the entire windshield for me if i pull the sun visor down so i just don't even use it all in all it's a great car i very much enjoy not only driving it but owning it I've done some mods, not a whole lot. There are big plans for the future. So if there's anything else you guys would like to see, feel free to let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe.